we know that our traditional chemical reaction is one in which our reactants, in this case nitrogen and hydrogen, are reacting to form products, in this case ammonia, in what we know here is the harbour process, an important process in the fertiliser industry. What we've also learned now is that some reactions, of which this is one, are reversible, meaning that as the reactants produce products, the products are then able to react and produce those reactants again. This creates a cyclical reaction or a cyclical process known as chemical equilibrium. Chemical equilibrium is when the rate of the forward reaction is equal to the rate of the reverse reaction. Now what becomes important, especially in the fertilizer industry where the goal is to produce ammonia, is for us to be able to know that at equilibrium how much of each element is present. And the way that we do that is with a constant known as the equilibrium constant, also known as Kc. And what Kc tells us is essentially the ratio in which our products are present to the ratio in which our reactants are present. So this is obviously done using concentration. We know that writing something in square brackets refers to the concentration. So this means the concentration of ammonia to the power of its exponent. That is part of the formula because we are saying there are two ammonia molecules produced, which is, means ammonia times ammonia. Because this is a ratio, we can often write them as fractions. So the ratio of our products to that of our reactants, concentration of nitrogen to the power of its exponent, which in this case is 1, multiplied by the concentration of hydrogen to the power of its exponent. So what this can now tell us is by looking at our value for Kc, it can inform us as to how much of the reactants is present and how much of the products is present. So what we can see here is we can see that if Kc is a number that is much, much bigger than 1, what that means is that the concentration of ammonia is much, much bigger than the concentration of nitrogen and hydrogen combined. What that essentially tells us is our concentration of the products is greater than the concentration of our reactants. And what that tells us, or the way that we say this, is we say that equilibrium lies to the right. We are saying on balance there are more products present than reactants in this reaction. So for Kc much bigger than 1, we say that equilibrium lies to the right. And then the converse is obviously also true, where if we now say that Kc is a number much, much smaller than 1, what that is actually telling us is the concentration of reactants is far greater than the concentration of our products, which means that very little nitrogen and hydrogen becomes ammonia, and as a result we say that equilibrium lies to the left. The equilibrium constant is a constant for a specific temperature. So we would, you would often see an equilibrium constant quoted at a specific temperature. As an example, the equilibrium constant for the harbour process at 25 degrees Celsius is 6.8 times 10 to the power of 5. From this we can clearly see that this is a number that is far bigger than 1, which means that equilibrium lies far to the right, which tells us that at equilibrium there is far more ammonia present in a container than there is nitrogen and hydrogen. Please note here, this equilibrium constant is only valid as long as the reaction is at equilibrium, meaning for only as long as reactants are reacting to become products and products are reacting again to become reactants. So when we say equilibrium lies to the right, we are saying there's more ammonia present, but the rate of the forward reaction is still equal to the rate of the reverse reaction.